So this is the Three Laws Cannon. So what we've got here is a couple of launch tubes which we can launch two projectiles out of in opposite directions. But we're going to start by showing you a normal cannon operating by projecting a projectile from this barrel only and we've blocked off this end of the barrel with a tape and a cork and uh, a source of energy in the form of compressed air in a soda bottle. We've converted the soda bottle by adding a tyre valve on one end and a little collar so we can mount it to plumbing and make a good airtight seal. And we've also got on the end of it a piece of tape to keep the air in and then across the piece of tape the original top from the soda bottle but drilled out with a large hole. And we just screwed that back on there so that will now keep airtight once we've pumped it up to pressure. And actually it makes it safe to pressurise because no matter how much pressure we put on we can't exceed the pressure of the bottle because the tape will fail first. So we now need to charge this with air. We've got a pump here. This is a standard foot pump with a gauge on it. We're going to pump it up to about 5 bar, 5 atmospheres or if you prefer 500 kilopascals. So I'll just pump that up. 300, 400, Okay, that's 500. And you'll see now that the tape on the top is bulging out slightly. Um, but it's not going to burst until it gets to a lot of higher pressure. Um, so it's quite safe to handle until we burst this with a pin, which we'll do in a moment to release the air. So we're going to plug that into the T-piece. And uh, we then load a projectile. The projectile is a cork, a small piece of weight added in the form of uh, blue tack. And we'll just ram that home into the barrel. Okay, and we're using a box here to stop the projectile safely so it doesn't do any harm. So all we need to do now is release some compressed air and we're going to use a little pin here, just a piece of wire, slightly sharpened point. I think you can see the projectile went at very high speed this way and actually the cannon went quite a high speed the other way um, because uh, basically the projectile and the cannon have equal and opposite momentum which is action and reaction, Newton's third law. But we can fix that by making a true three laws cannon by putting a projectile on this end as well as on that end. We're going to use the Three Laws Cannon now to fire two projectiles, one from this barrel, one from this barrel, in opposite directions into the stop boxes here and here. And again, we're going to use compressed air in a soda bottle. We charge this up again to 5 bar, 500 kilopascals. Just pop that into the plumbing there, seal it in, and then some tape just to hold that securely, like that. And then we're going to put a projectile in both ends this time. So this end, ram it down. And the other end, again ram it down. And then we're going to aim it carefully so it definitely hits the stop boxes in both directions. Then when we're ready, we can put the firing pin in here and release the compressed air firing the projectiles in opposite directions, like this. We should have seen this knocked over by recoil. Because there were projectiles going in opposite directions, there was no recoil, so the stand remains upright, no recoil. We've seen Newton's three laws here because we saw the projectiles going in equal and opposite uh, velocities. That's Newton's third law, action equals reaction. We saw the projectiles accelerated up to the tube by the force of compressed air. Force equals mass times acceleration, F equals MA. And of course we had the first law, when the projectiles came out the end of the cannon, they flew in a straight line to the stop boxes on either side.